Hey y'all, let's check out Ely's garden. Hey y'all, welcome to day 27 of April Diamonds. I'm Shy in Second Life, and today we're going to be looking around Ely's garden. So let's go ahead and do a quick outfit check, and then we can continue. So today I wanted to just go with a chill park outfit, something that was going to be comfortable to walk around in. So we have gold accessories. And then of course, you know, gets to have the iced coffee because iced coffee is always going to be for the win. So I just got a little two-piece lounger set on with my little green waist bag. And then for the shoes, we brought out the Crocs to match the bag. I love these shoes. Super cute. I love the little um, adornments that they have, the little charms on the feet. They're super duper cute to me. So this is the outfit, you guys. So let's go ahead and continue. So this land is actually on a community, Sam. I'm not sure how large this garden is, but we might end up walking around the land just to see what they can see. If they have any um, rentals for sale, then we'll check out some of their rentals. When I panned out, it did look like they had a lot of common spaces to view, but those could have been people houses, so I'm not very sure, but we'll check it out and see. This is super cute with the little egg. I don't, that, that egg don't look that egg don't look done but I'm, I'm just saying what's this is this coffee so yeah I really um thought that this was going to be like a large garden but then when I got here I was like you know we'll still check it out because it's still very pretty and you guys know I love pretty things so I was very willing to still check it out I love the water absolutely love it very very nice I love all the sounds here they have um, birds flying around in the sky and I really like that this land did look fairly large it's at least one sim so I do like that also um, they do have a feature where if you have been on the land too long they are gonna go ahead and boot you home which I feel like is a very good feature to have on the little baby you gotta get up oh good job how cute they're tiny they're tiny so a lot of lands, they'll let you stay on the land as long as you like. And I feel like a lot of lands, especially when you're going to stores and events and stuff like that, they should have a feature where you get sent home if you're just like idle on the land for a while. So I really do um, like that feature. Sometimes I'll be on Second Life, you know, I I'm guilty of this. Sometimes I will be on Second Life and... Um, I'll go and end up watching something on TV, like trying to find something to hear in the background or something like that sometimes. And I'll forget that I'm on Second Life. I'll get to do it, all different types of stuff. And those are the times where it's like, yeah, go ahead and boot me home. Go ahead and go ahead and send me home because I, I ain't doing what needs to be done. Clearly. I'm not even I'm not even in Second Life. So I do need to be at home. So I do like that um being a feature that they have this little fountain is so nice very very nice they have the little butterflies and things like that so i really like this path it's so spring -timey. so it's like it's not a at first i was gonna say that it's a forest themed sam but i don't feel like it's a forest themed sam i just feel like it's a it's a community sam so it looks like it, the the landscaping is like more much more like a neighborhood in my opinion so this land does have a very tranquil feel to it i love this little nook type sitting space dream a little dream i think that is so super cute the shared environment here is dark like i really at first i thought it was the time of day but it seems to just be the shared environment. I don't know if they just anticipate people switching up the shared environment so they didn't want to like make it a specific type of shared environment. I don't know, but it is quite dark in my opinion. This seems like it's like going out. I don't know if it's going out. 
I love these flowers. They're so pretty. I love this path as a whole. They have these little statues. I think we're out the garden, you guys. I think we're out. Oh, how adorable with the little kitty cat and the little rose in the middle. That's super cute. So I really like how they made the garden kind of like a common space. This garden does seem to be backed against um, some housing, some houses. This is the red zone. So I guess if you're going to like res cars or something like that, that would be the spot that you would do it in. I kind of think we're coming out of the garden now, you guys. So we are going to do just a little bit of exploring just to see what they have going on. Like I said, if they have any rental options, I will check out some rental options just so we can get, ooh, boats, just so we can get like an idea of the pricing here. I love all the water, more birds. I love this. I love the feel of this land. It's so tranquil. It has just a nice, peaceful, calming vibe to it. It's really, really nice. Let's see if we can get a better look at the swans. The water is so pretty. So in this little space, you can chill out, but they also have a dance. Um, I don't want to call it like a hood, but it's kind of like a, a dance clicker. I forgot what you call those. They sometimes people call them like a dance ball, but that's not actually like a ball where you can click it and then you'll get um, dances so that you can come chill in this spot, but you could also dance as well. So this is nice. Very dainty. I love the little sitting area that they have. This is very nice. I like that this part is like shaded. So it's like if it's super sunny out, then you can shade it. You can be um, sitting in the shade. When I was trying to find a shared environment for this space, there were a lot of environments that worked well. So that's why I kind of feel like they didn't make like a specific shared environment because they're like, you can really vibe out and have it looking however you want it to look. Now, it, I may have just caught it at a time where um, it was just the shared environment was dark but the times that I have come here because at first I came just to see if this was a space that I wanted to look at and when I saw that it was a community sim I was kind of reluctant to look around it because we don't normally I don't normally take us to community sims they're normally like hangout spots and things like that but when I saw the way that they had things set up I felt like this would still be a good place to venture around simply because although it is a community sim they have a lot of open spaces for people who don't live on the sam to really just kind of check out and observe and so that is the main reason why i decided to go ahead and show this land it's very very beautiful and then i also know that a lot of times people on second life they're looking for community sams a lot of these sams you will not find them in search I don't know why a lot of community sims are not in search, but there is a portion of community sims that when you go and look for them in search, they do not, they're not there. Also, this is like a nice little beach. This is a cute little sit-in space. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I love this water. Life can be salty, but love is sweet. Help yourself to a yummy treat. I love this beach. The sky in this setting is so mesmerizing. I really, really like it. They have a really cute, like, chill spot here. I like this too. I love this little space here because the majority of the space that we have come around, that we have gone around, it was just a lot of greenery. And then you'll get this space that's a really nice pop of color. I really, really like that. I like how they kind of have this like dipped off to the side a little bit. And I also like how they managed to put all of these things around homes that people can actually live in so it doesn't feel like you're um, invading anyone's privacy or anything like that you have the option to roam around and kind of um just like explore without 
being disrespectful to people's private places. And I really do like that. Look at this beautiful waterfall. I love it. They, they know how to get me. Part of the reason why I did want to show this space, being completely honest, was the water. I, I loves me some water. You guys know that. So I do like how they have the path set out where there are a lot of different twists and turns that will take you into different spaces that you can explore. I really like that um, they have a lot of bridges that kind of overlap spaces, that kind of connect the spaces together because they do have a lot of water features on this land. It has a very pristine nature type vibe to it and I really do like that. I really, really like that. Okay, I think we made it to the boat, you guys. What's on this table? What's over here? So they have a little fire pit. And I don't, I guess, well, we'll see if they offer like boat rentals or if it's like a thing where you can either live on the dock or if you can live in a house. I'm not sure. But they do offer a lot of beautiful things that you can see on this land i don't know how interactive it is so this is a little pub that they have well they can come people can come and enjoy like some live music what kind of liquor they got you know we we, we like to look at the liquor every now and again what they got going on all right you know they, they got they got a little shum shum i really like that bar it's really nice then they have this little live performance area, which is really nice. Lots of space. Oh, I cannot pronounce that, but it's it looks French. Lots of space for people to come and chill out at. So if they had a party, it would be more than enough space. So these boats, I don't know if these are, I don't think they're rentals. They're way too far from the water to be able to like get on and actually live on. So I think this might just be features to look at, like boats that you can look at. Can we, can we pan inside? Let's see. Okay, so they got a little, well you can kind of see what they got going zone. What's in there? Oh, this is a cute little, okay. So yeah, I'm not, I don't think that they offer boat rentals here so far. These might just be boats that you can sit on and take pictures and things like that. Can you sit on this? Okay, so you can sit on these and take pictures, which I think is cool because it has so much water over here. You might be able to ride them around. I don't know. What does it say? You pay for a texture. The boat is not included. Oh, I don't, okay. I guess they are, I guess they're giving away like textures for the boats. Okay, so this is a store? I guess this is a store. I don't know, but we're gonna look on this boat. I love the boats in Second Life. I've always wanted to live on a boat in Second Life, but they always make them so small on the inside. And as you guys know, I'm a tall lady in Second Life as well as real life. So they don't really make things for taller women in Second Life. And I'm gonna say avatars as a whole because even if it was a man, um, a male avatar that was trying to be on a boat, they wouldn't fit either. So what are we going to now? What is this? This is rentals at Solario. Okay, this is Ely Designs. So pretty. Ugh. This is the type of space where you would just go and just chill out and just sit and admire all of the views and all of the sights and the sounds and just really to be able to just relax and really just take in the vibes just to really take in the vibes. This is such a nice land. I was not expecting this land to be um, as just like a breath of fresh air, just so like 
nature read that's not even a word but just like so i can't even think of a word to describe it but i really really like this i really really like this land it feels so open and yet you still have the privacy of being in your own home on this land it's so inviting that's the word it's such an inviting land and i really like that blackberries and then these look like plums or prunes is giving prunes but this is nice okay so the vibe here is kind of it does have a dated like vibe but it's also has it also has like a lake house type vibe to it as well and i do like that so not like 1800s but just kind of like a real chill lake house type vibes where it's a small community where people come and gather and it's just not like this is not the place where you're coming to like turn up this is the place where you're coming to turn down and relax so you guys a lot of these spaces um are going to be locked off from us because they are meant for the people that reside on the community so that's going to be it for today you guys there are still lots of things that you can do at ely's garden so i still would recommend you guys coming here just to chill out if nothing else to just enjoy the sights as well as the sounds the landmark for this place will be in the description box below so if you guys enjoyed this video just as much as i enjoyed bringing it to you guys make sure you all like comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys next time